Hi, it's Matt at tracyandmatt.co.uk again. And we've just had another delivery. Uh, this time it's the Nokia N95. Um, not uh, a big fan of Nokia generally, um, liking my smartphones and Windows mobile devices, but we thought we'd take a look at the Nokia. Uh, box looks quite nice. Let's leave the device till last, shall we? Uh, the remote control for media functions. Uh, looks like a uh, standard, although it's a four pole, it's a standard size three and a half mil jack on that with a, what looks like a standard three and a half mil socket on the other end, which is good to see as we can use our own headphones, which tend to be uh, significantly better than those supplied with devices. Uh, though having said that, the headphones don't look terrible. Um, we'll have a look at those later and I'll give you an opinion on that. Quite a dinky little battery. Um, actually very small, very light. Um, underneath, let's see, we've got some CD-ROMs and uh, a manual. Quite a decent sized manual. And a tiny little charger. Very neat. And this is a video out cable. Uh, I've been told that the uh, M95 is uh, excellent for uh, video and podcasting. So we'll take a look at that at some point. And finally we've got a USB cable with a standard mini USB connector on the end. So, okay, let's take a look at the actual device, shall we? Plastic cover over there. Let's just push the box to one side. Okay, so immediately we see a camera on the front, which looks like a flash or a light there on the front as well. On the back, a camera. Uh, there's actually a 5 megapixel uh, with the Carl Zeiss uh, optics. Again, looks like a, a flash on the front and uh, a slider to open the cover over the lens, which is a nice addition. Um, presumably the headphone socket there. Cover on the side for micro SD card. More devices seem to be having these micro SD cards now. Uh, I think this must be a speaker socket. There's one on each side. Oh, sorry, speaker cover. Uh, rocker looks like for volume control. Um, looks like a play and stop button, a camera button. On the bottom, uh, looks like the power connector and uh, also the USB socket. Buttons on the front, uh, looking more and more like um, Windows smartphone. Uh, arrangement actually on those those buttons. It's been a long time since I've used a Nokia. Power button on the top. Uh, now this slides up. Upwards uh, reveals the numeric pad, uh, obviously for dialing, texting, and so forth. And um, if you slide the screen the other way, you've got some media controls. Um, uh, so you can uh, watch uh, video on screen uh, in the landscape. Uh, arrangement and obviously uh, mp3 playback and so on so yeah not a bad looking the device uh, I don't know if you can this really shows up very well on the uh, video camera here but this is uh, like a purpley aubergine type of color um, similar to uh, Nokia's I've seen in the past uh, battery cover not sure how that comes off okay very straightforward sim card goes under there as under the battery. Yeah, not a bad looking device. Like I say, I'm not, uh, not a big fan of Nokia, generally speaking. I do like my smartphone devices. Um, but uh, we're going to send this over to Nokia Nick. Um, he's going to let us know what he thinks of it. He's uh, obviously, as the name suggests, is a bit of a Nokia expert, if you will. Uh, and he's going to podcast what he thinks of the device. And, so I've been told that there are podcasting and uh, video casting features on this device. So 
um, perhaps they'll actually do the podcast from the device itself so look forward to hearing that so be sure to come back to tracingmac.co.uk when you get an opportunity and uh, we'll hopefully have a review of this device up for you shortly um, thanks once again to um, Clove Technology um, for sending this device for review uh, it's, uh, their website is clove.co.uk um, they sell Nokia and uh, many other manufacturers devices uh, smartphones HTC products accessories and so on they do a very wide range of uh, devices and their prices are very good so there's a nice plug for them there but uh, take a look uh, again that's clove.co.uk and we'll see you again next time bye bye